everybody. Get ready to do lesson 9.4, part 1 homework for pre calculus math today. And for today's homework assignment, you got 50 points, students, to do that. And we start out here with fill in the blanks. And then you have a question here, your question here. Fill in the blanks here. And write out a question here. Eight points, page 1, page 2. Match the set. So match A, B, C, and D to, what is it, uh, 5 through 8, so here's 5 and 6, so which one, of, which does 5 and 6, which one of these graphs matches 5 and 6, and then 7 and 8 goes back to page 1, or rather page 2, and then page 3 here, using parametric equations, consider the parametric equation x equals 4 cosine squared t and y equals 4 sine t. A, create a table of x and y values using t equals uh, negative pi over 2, and then these values here. So create a table here for that. So you have, uh, <clears throat> you have uh, x and y here, and then t, and then create these values here and fill in this table just like in your classwork. And then continue this in here just from the previous, uh, plot the points x and y. So now plot that, uh, those parametric equations in this uh, grid here. Describe the orientation of the curve here. Then C, use your graphing calculator to graph the curve represented by the parametric equations here. Six points, page four, and then C and D here. Uh, continues from the previous. D, uh, find the rectangular equation by eliminating the parameters. Sketch its graph here. How does the graph differ from those in parts of B and C? So put that here, and this is your D here for that. And then uh, page 6 here, uh, 11 and 12, 11 and 12, 12 is the next page. Determine which set of parametric equations represents this graph here. And then put your response down here. Four points for page 6, page 7 uh, again. Uh, which one of these uh, set of equations describes this graphic? page 7 of your homework, and that is your 9.4 part 1 pre-calculus math homework. Uh, email me here, MA PowerPoint math video at AOL.com for homework sheets, etc. Thank you very much.